the viewers welcome to our today's episode on flare piping before we begin this session i insist you to subscribe our channel and like this video and share it to your with your friends and colleagues so today's session is dedicated to flare lines so flare as we know that uh, basically it is a venting system and uh, in every plant especially the hydrocarbon facilities we have a flare system so uh, we are going to see how it functions this is a flare shown here we can see that this is the production tree a well and from well this is the well fluid which is delivered into a separator inside the separator the gas which is the excessive gas is being burnt into flare so this is one way at the upstream how why uh, what the function of flare is explained in this uh, uh, graphics if uh, a flare system is an arrangement of piping and specialized equipments that gather hydrocarbons released from relief wall this is one of the example second one is a relief wall equipment vents blow down walls pressure control walls and manual walls and disposes them by combustion at a remote and safe location that's it that is what we can see there so uh, the scenarios of flare uh, flare pressure uh, fire relief psv to protect separator in the event of a pool fire under the vessel like for example if a psv pop ups uh, due to certain failure of the safety system uh, but the outlet of the psv cannot be uh, vented to the atmosphere because it has a lot of hydro uh, it has a uh, hydrocarbon which is uh, flammable which can which is combustible and can cause a fire hazard so in order uh, to avoid this the outlet of psv is channeled or taken to a uh, knockout drum from where it is the gases are burnt through the flare so start of flaring flaring of separator as far as prior to compressor starts so th this is the example of uh, the graphics which we can see here uh, starting up of flaring is a, this is a separator what we can see here this is the separator and uh, in the separator actually the ex excessive gases are burnt so emergency depressurization blow down requirement to depressurize system due to confirmed fire like there is an emergency system wherein if there is a fire so all the uh, systems uh, they are automatically shut down so this is a emergency and uh, whatever uh, the piping and the systems are there they are uh, depressurized so uh, that in this case they are connected to the flare where flare where they pressurized the gases and all they are burnt off so manual venting final depressurization of vessels prior, prior to purging and entry this is done in case of uh, when we start with the shutdown before that a manual venting is done in case uh, the venting system of the plant is not automated it has to be done manually so this is all about the flare system and now we will move forward and see types of flare okay so there are normally two kinds of flare systems one high pressure flare and the second one is a low pressure flare so what is the difference between these two so high pressure flare is connected equipments and piping having design pressure of greater than 10 bars and low pressure flare, uh, flare uh, is the one which is connected with the equipments and piping which have design pressure less than 10 bar that is the main uh, difference 
so what if uh, then again there may be a question uh, in your mind that why we have to segregate these two greater than 10 bar and uh, less than 10 bar so because what if we combine all systems to one single L lp flare so what will be the consequences that we are going to discuss so inefficient and very large tp tips lp tips low pressure tip the tip means the portion from where that uh, uh, we we can see the fire so very large we have to use that which is not desirable and very large header size again this is also not desirable from economy point of view and from the operations point of view from maintenance so many uh, considerations are there excessive smoke generation and generally uneconomic so these are all the um, issues which are associated if we go with the one single flaring system so in order to avoid all these issues we have to go with the two flares high pressure flare and low pr pressure flare so this is a diagrammatic representation of the flare system so uh, this is one of that uh, psv so like psv there are uh, vent lines where we can drain out before we uh, we start with the shutdown of the plant so this is the psv we can see here tip pressure drop and the stack pressure drop here it is shown one and two this is the tip actually from where it is burnt into the atmosphere this is the flare stack so all the flare lines are sloped and they are sloped at the ratio of one ratio 200 so uh, the all the flare lines are taken and then they are rooted and to a one single header flare header and which is again directed to a knockout drum so at the knockout drum we can see here this is the knockout drum and from knockout drum the condensates are again uh, pumped uh, uh, to the storage where they are useful and the gas excessive gas uh, which uh, which we cannot uh, store or um, it, it is burnt off in the layer stack so this is all about uh, the diagrammatic representation so now this is the uh, loop system of the flare we cannot go horizontal loop so uh, here we can see that they cannot be uh, installed directly on the pipe rack we can see uh, it is on the adjacent side of the pipe rack because the flare line uh, cannot be uh, dropped down and then again we cannot take it up because it will create a dead lag and it is not allowed in the flare line so uh, the temperature of the flare line uh, can be uh, high so in order to that in order uh, we have to also provide the loop in the flare line and how this loop is being provided is shown in this image we can see here easily the loop how it is it's basically a horizontal loop with the slope of 1 ratio 200 so this was a short video dedicated to the flare systems and flare line very minimal we have covered the information but of course it is very important information which we have which we are sharing with you through this video so how you feel about this video give your feedback in the comment section and we, are, we again uh, request you to subscribe our channel and share it with your friends. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice